Let's use this terrible economic crisis to question assumptions behind economic theory and to rethink the role of the state, finance, and austerity in promoting growth and innovation. Okay, so we are in front of BNDS today, a state development bank, and uh, Giovanni Dozzi here, one of the international leaders in innovation economics, is here for a workshop thinking about uh, how we can actually finance innovation in a way that can bring us out of the crisis. And Giovanni, what is the relationship between innovation, the crisis, and austerity? Well, <clears throat> the crisis, despite uh, what people say, that some people say that uh, the crisis will bring, bring about innovation because people will uh, get rid of all things, all the equipment, uh, all the ideas. Uh, <clears throat> the crisis is simply a hindrance to innovation. It was the same in, after the crisis of 29. The crisis, all crisis, slow down the adoption of innovation, reduce the, R and, the, the amount of R&D. So the crisis is bad for innovation. Now, uh, did, innovation, did the technical change contribute to the crisis? I don't think so. Uh, <clears throat> It is, the, the, the crisis was triggered by financial factors and uh, transmitted to the real economy. And the real economy, in a Keynesian way, in a Keynesian way went from a reasonable, if however a bit drugged, uh, path, growth path, to a bad one. Uh, now, <clears throat> how do you get back from the bad path, the, the current path that is recession or depression to the good one and essentially you need uh, um, Keynesian measure of, of various kinds or to put it another way in any case you don't need austerity uh, austerity is bad for growth and is bad for innovation and is also a useless harmful medicine uh, the Americans seem to understand it, to some extent at least. The Europeans do, do not, uh, out of the, their uh, ideological uh, Talibanism. And what do you think the advantages are today of actually using this crisis as um, a reason to rethink theory and especially to bring together Keynes and Schumpeter, who really have never been properly brought together in terms of both demand management and innovation thought about in a coherent way? Well, no, it is urgent. I mean, uh, remember that uh, uh, Schumpeter never understood uh, any issue of, uh, of demand management. Uh, if you read uh, the, the book review by, by Schumpeter of the general theory, it could have been written in Chicago. Um, he never understood any issue of coordination uh, and uh, aggregate demand. Now, <coughs> Keynes is crucial in getting uh, the system out of the crisis. How do you do it? Well, one way that is the most rudimentary that uh, <coughs> by default or by despair Keynes was suggesting was dig holes and fill them up, uh, which is better than nothing. Um, in, in actual fact, uh, <coughs> as Bill Jenner underlines, it's much easier to get to the good path uh, uh, through a war. Uh, apparently rearmament is something that is socially justifiable much more than social programs. I think today the, uh, the big challenge is to have Keynesian policies uh, based on huge mission-oriented projects aimed at innovation and the environment yeah. and health. So allowing the green revolution to actually take off instead of being stifled by uh, short-term yes. finance.